Yes! Yeah! What a beautiful fish. That is a dandy. Look at that fish. That's a beauty. Hi everybody, I'm Adam Andler and you're watching Adam's Angling Adventures. Today is Friday, May 14th, 2021 and we are out here on a Waukesha County Lake and today we are going to be targeting smallmouth bass and we're going to be fishing these smallies on their beds. Come on folks, let's see if we can get a few. Got him! Fish on baby! <laughs> Nice smallie, nice smallmouth. Ooh, what a beauty. Good start to the day. It didn't take long, folks. Nice smallmouth. Use my brand new net on him. Come here, buddy. Oh, what a nice looking fish. Booyah! <laughs> How about that start to the day, folks? What a beautiful smallie. Just got him on that jackal finesse worm. He crushed it. What a good looking fish. Really a pretty fish, too. Good color on him. That's probably a 17 incher, I bet. Wow, I guessed it right on the dot. 17 incher, actually about a 17 and a half. What a good looking smallie. I'll let you get right up in there. Get a good look at him. Great start, folks. Woohoo! Thanks for biting. See you later, sweetheart. He don't like that worm. Oh, he got it. Booyah! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that video is going to be awesome. Look at that smallie. That is a gorgeous fish. Wow. <laughs> Holy Toledo, folks. Hold on. We're going for a ride with a big old smallie. Look at this out of this clear water, too. This is just unbelievable. Oh, look at him. Look at him. That's even bigger than the first one. Ooh. <laughs> Dang. Going under the boat. Going under the boat. For Pete's peppers. Come on, buddy. Get in that net. Get in that net. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Look at that gorgeous smallmouth bass. <laughs> yeah, buddy. On the jackal pumpkin seed. Finesse worm, look at that fish. Wow, that's even bigger than the other one. <laughs> this is unbelievable, folks. I've never done a smallmouth video before. Wow, they're like twins. Look at this 17 and, th 17 and three quarters. This one's a little bigger. But look at that. They got nice bellies on them. Gorgeous, just gorgeous looking fish. Whew. Wow. Unbelievable, folks. Thanks for biting, buddy. Very important to let these fish go and let them grow. The smallies aren't too picky when they're on their beds. The smallies usually just go for it right away. They see something coming in, harming that nest, they just attack. They're not like largemouth where you gotta sit there and play with them for sometimes half hour, hour, you never know. But smallmouth, they see something they don't like, boom, they eat it. Got him! Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I hope we got that on tape. I hope we got that on tape. Oh, and that one.
Oh, that's a good smallie. Wow. Wait till you see the colors on this one. Ooh, that. Oh, it's a beauty, folks. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this might be a four pounder. Oh, just raw power. Just, oh, my God, it might be a five pounder. Oh, my God. Oh, it was close. It was close. Oh, missed him twice. Toledo, folks, is an absolute giant. Oh, I saw him from really far away. Couldn't judge the size of him. Knew it was a pretty nice fish. I did not know it was this nice. Oh, oh, that's a tank. That is an absolute tank with great colors. <laughs> oh my God, what an absolute monster. Look at that, the old finesse worm. Couldn't have done it without you. Perfectly hooked in the corner. Oh yeah, this is at least a four and a half pounder. Wow, I saw him from far away. Didn't know how big he was, but that is a tank. Look at that gorgeous brown color on him too. He was, he wasn't, on the rocks in the sand he was actually on a pile of weeds which is why he's got that nice color these fish actually will camouflage to their surroundings wow I've never had a smallmouth bass video before but we're sure gonna get one today baby yes Plop it right on his head. Is he gonna eat it? Oh, looked at it, was thinking about it, turning around. He'll get it this time. Yep, got him. <laughs> yeah, smallmouth are a lot different than largemouth. They don't need much convincing. Look at this. This clear water. This video is gonna be nuts. Look at him. That's a nice looking smallie, too. Look at him, that beautiful bronze color. Come here. We're going to try to just do this one the old-fashioned way. The net's in the front of the boat. We're just going to lip this guy. Come here. The old football. Come here. Oh. Luckily, I'm not in a tournament or anything. I would have been a little upset <laughs> with missing that guy. Come on. There we go. Oh, look at that. Hook just popped out. Wow, luckily we didn't fight him for too much longer. <laughs> Hook just popped out. Wow, look at oh one eye. Look at that. He's only got one eye. That's neat. Good looking fish. I mean, a very healthy, very respectable. Probably a 16 inch or so. Let's put him on the old bump board here. Wow, 17. That's the third uh, fish between 17 and 17 and a half. Four smallies so far today, all over 17 inches. Absolutely incredible day. A very important thing when these fish are on their beds like that, very important that we put them back and let them continue spawning so there's future generations of smallmouth so other people can do this and these fish are very smart they'll go right back to the bed so as you can see right now we're fishing these rock bars and like for instance that's a bed like that was the bed I just caught that 17 incher on and then as you can see it's pretty much barren wide open lot of rocks some sparing weeds here and there but for the most part it's wide open and what's really neat about fishing these is you can cast pretty much anywhere and all of a sudden you'll see the smallie come from like 15, 20 feet away, swim all the way up to it 
and eat it. They're just nuts. The fish will come that far off the bed to attack something. It's really neat. I just want to show you guys exactly what I'm using today. I'm using a number one owner mosquito hook with a 5.8 inch jackal flick shake worm in pumpkin seed color and then I got a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader attached to 15 pound power pro braid and then I'm using the RG3000 Daiwa reel on a 7 foot medium power bass x rod good old St. Croix <laughs> he didn't like that worm. Come on, buddy. Oh. <laughs> you know what? No matter how big they are, they put up such a great fight. Such a good fighting fish. Whoa. Come here, buddy. Oh. Wowza. Come here. There we go. Another one with one eye. Really crazy. He was barely even hooked. Another gorgeous looking smallmouth bass. Wow. Look at that. Look at that fish. Such a unique color when they're sitting on these shallow flats like this. They don't have that rich dark brown, they have that nice light shade of green. Really a cool looking fish. Ready buddy? Ready? See ya! Well everybody that's going to be it for today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoy it. That was just an incredible and epic day. I have never caught that many big smallmouth bass in my life in one day. That was just unreal. And I'm so glad I was able to capture it on film for you guys. Thanks for checking this video out. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.